Good afternoon and welcome to Arkansas Children's. I'm Rebecca Brockman and this afternoon I'm joined by Dr. Rebecca Cantu. Today we are talking about flu shots. We are in flu season so now is the time to get your flu shot but we're going to talk about the why and the where and why, why to get your flu shot, most importantly. Um, so we are six feet apart. Um, we were wearing our masks right before we started, and we hope that you and your family are uh, staying safe and healthy as well during this time. Um, so Dr. Cantu, we have been talking with you about COVID-19, and now we are adding the flu to the pandemic. Um, so what happens when you add the flu to what we're going through already? So we don't completely know yet, COVID hit most of the U.S. around the time that the flu season was winding down last year. But we would anticipate with both going on in high levels in the community, a lot more people could get sick and be hospitalized or even die. So it's very important to take measures to prevent both of these illnesses. Okay. And how, I know a lot of parents watching are going to want to know the difference between the flu and COVID-19. So many of the symptoms overlap and you may not be able to tell the difference without a test. But there are some differences. Children generally are less affected severely by, the, by COVID. They're much more likely to have severe flu, at least as far as we know so far. There are some differences in that adults are more likely to get COVID and become very sick. And then COVID does some different things as far as symptoms. So you're more likely to get things like blood clots and a lot of heart issues that we're starting to see after COVID. Okay. Um, if you're just now joining us, we're talking live with Rebecca Cantu about flu season. Um, and if you stick around, we are actually, I'm going to get my flu shot live. So you're going to see what the whole process looks like and how easy it is. So uh, make sure you stay tuned. Um, we're talking about symptoms, uh, flu symptoms and COVID-19 symptoms, which can be similar. Um, which ones are the same and which ones are different? So most of the symptoms you'll have, like fever, cough, and feeling sick, can be very similar because both can present in similar ways and COVID can have a wide variety of symptoms. So you may not be able to tell the difference just by how you're feeling. Your doctor may need to do a test. They may not always do a test. If you're well enough to stay at home, they may just tell you to quarantine regardless of what illness you have. And it's very important to do that to avoid spreading either the flu or COVID around. Okay. And this afternoon we are talking about the flu vaccine and the importance of getting a flu shot. Why should parents watching that they get a flu shot and their children get a flu shot this season? So the flu vaccine helps to prevent catching the flu, but it also helps to decrease the severity. So if you do get the flu after getting a flu shot, you're still less likely to get hospitalized and to die from the flu. So it decreases your complications. And why is it important, especially for children, to get the flu shot? So children get the flu a lot. It's a very common illness for them. And although most of them do well, many children still are hospitalized and even die from the flu. Last flu season, 188 Arkansas children died from the flu. Obviously, we'd like to prevent all deaths from the flu. Um, the earlier you get it in the season, the more you're protected. And children can also spread the flu around. So even if they don't get too sick and are able to manage it at home, they can still spread the flu to people like infants and older people who are at higher risk of dying. Okay, and right now, you suggest getting the flu shot before, when is the perfect time to get one? Now is the best time. Okay. We like to do it in September and October before, before the flu season really takes off. It takes about two weeks for the full immunity to set in. So the earlier you get it in the season, the better, the longer you'll be protected. The flu shot lasts for the entire season. Now, even if you get the flu and haven't had the flu shot yet, we still recommend that you go get the flu vaccine because there are multiple strains in the community and you could get the flu again, which nobody wants. Okay, so for the past, at least since March, we've been hopefully wearing our masks, washing our hands, social distancing. Has Will that help uh, with this upcoming flu season by keeping everybody healthier? Yes, I think one of the silver linings of the pandemic is that people have become much more comfortable. We've got our masks, our hand sanitizer, everyone's washing their hands and hopefully staying home if they have symptoms. All those can protect us from COVID and the flu. So if everyone really complies with these recommendations, it can really help keep our community safe from both of those illnesses. Good. The truth. There is a silver lining. Um, let's talk about um, flu shots availability for patients and families here at Arkansas Children's and how they get uh, the vaccine if they're a patient. Yes. Yeah, so if you're a patient of Arkansas Children's, you can call your doctor and schedule an appointment and we'll have that number available for you. Um, if you're here for an appointment anyway, go ahead and ask about the flu vaccine. We're working really hard as a team across the hospital system to get our patients and their families vaccinated in the clinics, in the hospital, at procedures, anywhere you might come across an Arkansas Children's team member. Um, 
So at any time that you're here, you can just ask us or call to schedule an appointment. Excellent, and we'll definitely include that number um, in the Facebook post. Um, if they're not a uh, patient here or their PCP is not here, where can they get a flu shot this season? Most pediatricians and family doctors will be able to give the flu vaccine to both the parents and the children. Adults can typically get the vaccine at local pharmacies, but those often won't vaccinate children and infants, so just be aware of that. The local health department can vaccinate children and adults, and you can go to healthy.arkansas.gov to find a list of your local health units. They can do flu vaccines and all your routine childhood vaccines that we recommend. Excellent. So now we need to talk about treating the flu. If you actually do get the flu, um, when should you care for it at home and when should you see a doctor? Most kids can be managed with supportive care at home, meaning plenty of fluids, lots of rest, some medicine if you need it for pain or fever. Any infant who's one month or younger and has a temperature of 104, 100.4, I'm sorry, 100.4 or higher, that's an emergency in a month or younger and they need to go to the emergency room. If your child is having trouble waking up, they're not feeding well, they're not making wet diapers or urinating, or they're having trouble breathing, you need to bring them to be seen right away. And then if you or your children have any kind of immunocompromise or chronic illness like heart or lung disease, you should talk to your doctor about any specific symptoms that would require you to come be seen. Okay, and I'm about to get my flu shot um, live during our, our time together, but there are some common myths um, that I know we all hear, especially growing up. What are some common myths and what are the truths? So one that I hear very frequently is that the, somebody got the flu from the flu shot, and that is impossible. The flu vaccine does not have any live or infectious virus in it. it just, there's nothing in it that can give you the flu shot. What probably happened if you think you got the flu from the flu shot is your immune system was kicking in. So if you felt kind of achy and feverish that first day or two after your flu shot, that was probably your immune response, which means your body is gearing up to recognize when you actually are exposed to the flu and help protect you. So that's what you want. And it usually goes away in a day or two. You can take some medicine for achiness if you need to. The other thing I hear is that people say, oh, well, I never get the flu. And that may have been true in the past, or you may have only had a, vi a, a very mild case. Um, that does not mean you're protected this year. You are still just as much at risk for the flu and getting severe flu. And again, with COVID in the mix, we don't really know how bad it's gonna look if people get both of those at the same time. So let's just try to avoid all of them. Um, even if you get a mild case of the flu or you don't mind having the flu, which most people mind having the flu, you could still spread it to someone who will become very sick or die from the flu. So part of your job as a community member is to help protect your fellow community members and getting the flu shot is one way to do that. Excellent, and it sounds very similar to COVID-19. You, you need to be thinking about your neighbors, your grandparents, um, when it comes to the flu as well. So you are gonna get everything set up, and while you're doing that, um, we just want to remind uh, parents who are watching, if your child, uh, if your primary care physician is here at Arkansas Children's, you can call 501-364-1202. That's 501-364-1202 and make an appointment to get a flu shot. Or if you have an upcoming appointment, you can ask to get a flu shot uh, from any team member while you are here. So those options are available, but if not, um, you can call your primary care physician and schedule an appointment. So All as right. you see, Dr. Uh, Cantu is wearing her face mask. I'm gonna put mine on. She's got gloves on. <laughs> In process. <laughs> And you'll notice all the team members at Arkansas Children's will be wearing masks and face shields or goggles when they see you. And that's to help protect both you and us from COVID and flu. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. So I am getting my Roll flu that shot. Sleeve up. All right. And you put it right here. Oops, I'm going to my mask. Yep. All right. You can just relax your arm. Okay. Okay, try not to cry because you're on TV. All right, so I'm getting my flu shot. We're here at Arkansas Children's. If you're just tuning in, you might be wondering what's happening. It is flu season, and now is the perfect time to get your flu shot. So I'm getting mine from One, Dr. Two, Cantu, and it's, that, was, that was painless. That was All perfect. Right, there you go. We give you a little Band-Aid over here. Okay, thank you. I, I didn't bring you a sticker, I'm sorry. That was, that, there was, I felt nothing. So this is the time. For the band -aid. Thank you. All right. For you and your family member to get a flu shot, stay healthy this season. We're in the middle of a pandemic. So uh, please protect your, yourself and your community. We appreciate you watching. Uh, if you have questions for Dr. Cantu about the flu shot, please leave them below and we'll get them answered. Thanks.